amazing. You volunteered and got into the OSF, just like you always dreamed. You were scouted, so I have to work hard to catch up to you. The one you want to catch up to isn't me. It's her. So, we're all here. Captain Narukami, may I ask a question? You don't have to be so formal. We call each other by our first names in the OSF so we can strengthen our bonds. Most of us don't look our age. Ranks are there just to calculate pay. The OSF only values strength. Remember that. That's the gist of it. So what was your question? Right. Um... Wataru... isn't here yet. Wataru is this platoon's operator. He'll direct us from headquarters. My power allows me to communicate telepathically without the system's assistance, up to around 500 kilometers. That being said, it's a lot of work, so join the group. Open your personal port. Team leaders will be Nagi, Yuito, and Sugumi. Each of you, listen to Wataru's orders and move to the designated goal. Try to take down any others along the way. Retreat is allowed if you think you can't handle it, but reach your goal. That's all. Understood. Okay. See you later. Good luck. The teams are split up, but you can use Brain Talk to share information. Let's 
Let's regroup now. Still fight. Good.
drug something. Wow! I had no idea you could use it like that. Your power is really great. Looks like there's a resource nearby. I can still fight. Let's regroup. Thanks. This place is incredible. The city is above and below us. It feels like I'm in a VR from a theme park I went to when I was a kid. It used to serve as the connection base to Togetsu. The city infrastructure was destroyed in an other attack about five years ago. So, what you see is what remains. Togetsu is the stronghold of the Togetsu faith, right? It's kind of like a cult. Don't say that out loud. Kagura was a believer. He was even a priest at one time. What? That guy is a priest? Hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Don't forget, our Platoon's headsets are all connected. Sorry. No, don't worry about it. My parents were believers, so I just naturally became a priest. I don't care about the teachings at all. Now that Kikuchiba is like this, you hardly ever see people coming to Suo from the church anymore. What's that drone doing? found us even though we were jamming them. Crows, Captain. So they sniffed us out. Look alive, everyone. Crows? And the press. Guys, the crows will make a big deal out of this. Let's make it exciting. The city vision projectors must be broken. <laughs> they're pretty, but kind of scary. Yeah, it's like they're looming up there. We did it! Let's keep this up!
What does a Togetsu priest do? Oh, are you interested in me? No, not at all. I was just asking. Playing hard to get, I see. All we do is spread the message. Souls return to the moon. Team, though, so you didn't need to check in. What are you doing, Nagi? It's a restricted area. Get back here. Oh, sorry. I was just curious. It still doesn't make it okay. You'll write up an incident report when we get back to headquarters. Yes, sir. Yuito's team is the first to the objective. Nice going. Yeah. Hey. Do you hear something? Good instincts, Yuito. I'm getting other readings nearby. No. Wait. This is a major other. Captain, Tsugumi, a major other has appeared at the objective. Major others are others that have killed OSF members in the past. Captain! It'll take a few minutes for the rest of the teams to arrive. This may be rough for rookies, but hold out. Yuito! <laughs> Hanabi! Look alive! <clears throat> I guess we've got no choice. 
Hanabi, let's go. All right, I'm ready. This thing does look pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. we have to have a plan to fight it. Oh, look up there. There's some material hanging down. Use your psychokinesis to slam it down on its head. Okay, got it. Don't get making me sluggish. That was close. up because it's a major other. Keep your eyes open. You especially, Yuito. Your power lets you use the things around you. Don't focus only on the enemy in front of you. Yes, sir. Let's regroup now. Come on. Did we do it? Are you okay? All of you, stay back or you'll get hurt. This fight is, of course, Private Yuito Sumeraki, who took down a major other on his first assignment. Congratulations, Private Sumeraki. Let's hear from him. Thanks. How do you feel? Uh, I'm glad we were able to defeat the other. Your first victory on your first deployment. Was it satisfying? Um, uh, I can't answer you very well myself. Please, ask the commander. Septentrion 7th class, Captain Seto Narukami. How did Private Sumeragi do? Both Yuito and Hanabi fought very well. The fact 
that Private Sumeragi was put under your command, Captain, must mean that the top brass thinks highly of you. That's something you'll have to ask my superiors about. We're pulling out. The mission doesn't end until we get to Suo. Keep your eyes open. Understood. No sign of the crows. Looks like they got their sights on Yuito this year. What do you mean, this year? Every year, the crows latch on to whoever stands out among the rookies. He or she becomes their new star. It's gonna be rough here on out. What? Oh, man. That just means you'll be in the limelight. You may get tons of interview requests. Maybe they'll put him on the PR magazine like Arashi. Could be. They don't know when to quit. Yuito, I know it'll be a pain, but don't answer directly. Just evade any questions. Yeah, I'll do my best. Here they come. Ah, oh, looks like Sugumi found the crows. Okay, we'll keep this short. That's the end of this assignment. From now on, our orders will be sent directly from above. You can't refuse a deployment order. Go to the designated place at the designated time and carry out your mission. You can take on suppression assignments and training at your leisure, but don't slack off too much. Crows. They'll be here soon. We're jamming them, but it's just a matter of time. If you have any further questions, ask Wataru. Okay. Back to Suo. Captain, can I be excused here? I want to make a stop. Do you have to do it right now? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, yeah, fine. Do whatever you want. Love you, Captain. I didn't just say that for the press. You two really did a great job. Oh, Seto. The pampered Sumeragi kid. What's with the attitude? Wait, Naomi? Oh, Nagi and Yuito. Naomi and Kasane. Hi! Good job today. Gyoka, are you training rookies too? Yes. We got a bunch of cuties again this year, so I have to do my best. My guys are doing well. Hey, Kasane, was it? How was training? I think I did as well as I could. Good. <sighs> Kasane? Wait... What is it, Naomi? Uh, oh, um, are you all right? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just saw you on Himuka TV. You looked way too composed to be a rookie. I was very impressed. Uh, thank you. Uh. Kyoka Platoon, 
Everyone except team leaders is dismissed. Team leaders, come with me to headquarters. Same for us. Team leaders to headquarters. Uh, Kasane? What? Um, have we met somewhere before? We fought an other together. Did you forget? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Not that. Uh, so, you have a sister. You mean Naomi? Did you get hit in the head? <sighs> you're weird. But your power was pretty good. Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks. Hey, Yuito. So you're friends with the Randall sisters? If that seemed friendly to you, then you're weird as well. Really? I'm heading back to headquarters. Keep chatter to a minimum outside. Crows are after you. I'll go back to headquarters with you. Naomi gave you a compliment. That's nice, Yuito. That was just because she happened to see me do something good. Kasane was pretty harsh, though. I'm still jealous. If I had just gotten there a little earlier. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Hey, it's Major General Karin Travers. Keep your voice down, you idiot. Private Yuito Sumeragi. <sighs> I heard you were getting chased around by the crows. Yes, sir. They're just like mosquitoes in the winter. Powerless, but annoying. So use them instead. It's easier to climb the ranks with some notoriety. You'll also learn a thing or two under Seto's leadership. Anyway, keep at it. I expect big things from you. Lucky you. Major General Karin apparently has had an eye on your talent since you were still a cadet. What? Really? Yes. A Septentrion First Class thinks you're promising. Don't let him down. Major General Karin's faith in me. It doesn't seem to be because of my brother. He doesn't seem the type. Oh, crap. I can't stop myself from smiling. Anyway, could you go report to Wataru? I'm going to go check on Kagero. Uh, why? And it seems like he stayed behind in Kikuchiba, and I'm a little concerned. Oh yes, and Nagi, you entered a prohibited area back there. Write and submit an incident report immediately. Oh. Wow, a Septentrion like Kara knows you! He must really see something in you. It's so amazing that you managed to get his attention. <laughs> yeah. But I'm a volunteer soldier. You're finally here. I got so tired of waiting for you that I dragged myself out. Hurry up and give me your mission report to put on record. I want to get this over with so I can go play some games. It's a distress signal. We have to go. I'm coming too. You were told to write up an incident report, Nagi. But Yuito is going... Hanabi, please go see Wataru for me. And could you help Nagi write his report? I'll head over to Mizu Hagawa. What? what? Yuito, be careful. It must be bad if Arashi is asking for help. You're backing me up. I'm counting on you. Careful, Yuito. Yeah, sorry about everything. Like Nagi. Seriously, make it back in one piece, all right?
Ito, I sent you the location data for the distress signals. Confirm. What's it like there? The extinction belt advanced while the city was being constructed. A lot of others came down and it became a dangerous area. There are no plans to restart construction. It's a forgotten ghost town. Break the outer shell if you keep attacking. new guy right on time as you can see I'm in the middle of something do you think you could help me out of course at your service you don't need to be so formal age and rank don't mean much here oh okay I would like to help as well good answer 
Gemma, connect Yuito to the SAS. Affirmative. Arashi, can you use your hypervelocity to get behind the target? Do I get hazard pay? That's something you should take up with Major General Fabuki. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. You two handle the front while I take the back. <sighs> It's the crows! The crows have a right to use their drones to broadcast. But I know how you feel. All right. You guys promise to back up my story later, okay? What? For real? Arashi, you're going to be reprimanded. So get your story straight and back me up. Yuito. Your power is psychokinesis, right? Use their remnants as you see fit. You can drop any crows that show up after, too. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Way too much work. I don't feel like doing anything now. What are we gonna do about destroying the crow's drones? Intentionally interfering with their reporting is against military regulation. We accidentally mistook it for another and destroyed it. It happens. Got it? Yes, it was an unfortunate accident. Though I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hey, don't worry about it. You showed promise. All right, we'll leave it at that. We did what we had to. Now let's get back to Suo. Yes. Hey, Gamma. What? Your leg. You look like you're limping. Did you get hurt? Oh, you're right. This isn't good. Running into more others now would be bad news. I'm fine. If you're limping, you must be in pain. We should at least do some first aid. No, it's dangerous out here. We need to move. I know a place. My family has a unit around here we use as an emergency shelter when we travel to Ceyron. We should be able to treat you safely there. That's great. 
Show us the way. Copy that. I'll send you the coordinates now. Okay, you're right. That is close. Gemma, you just have to tough it out until we get there. I'm fine. Stop it. I know you, and you're always pushing yourself too hard. So this is the Sumeragi Family Evacuation Unit. It's a lot fancier than your standard unit. You think so? I know. We should tell Seto about this place and make it a safe house for Seto Platoon. It's like a little hideout. It feels perfect. What's a safe house? It's like an evacuation site each team has that's separate from headquarters. OSF refers to them as hideouts. They come in handy when we're faced with casualties like today. Oh, that's right. Gemma, let me see your leg. You're not fine at all. Look at all the blood. Stop trying to tough everything out. I wasn't doing it intentionally. I just couldn't feel the pain because of all the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Yuito, you looked comfortable with medical treatments. I'm impressed. I had health problems as a kid, so I have a lot of experience taking care of my own injuries. I see. I'm sure your parents were pretty busy. Yeah. You know who my father is, and my mother was killed by another when I was five. We had a maid at home, but I just got used to doing everything on my own. It's good to be independent. Though not sure that's very convincing coming from me. Yeah, you could learn to do a few more things on your own, so Major General Fubuki won't have to worry so much. Major General Fubuki? What does he have to do with Arashi? I thought it was common knowledge. Fubuki and I are siblings. What? You're the Major General's younger sister? The other way around. You can't judge anyone in the OSF by our appearance. I'm Fubuki's older sister. Or she has the potential to rival even the Septentrions if she stops slacking off. How rude, Gemma. I just hate wasting my energy. What do you say we rest here? Even if we go back to Suo, all that's waiting for us there is paperwork and nosy crow news interviews. Hello, everyone. Hmm. Aren't you the daughter of the Ichijo OSF Hospital Chairman? Captain Arashi Spring? Call me Arashi, please. Every year, you newbies have the same reaction. I'm sorry. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Hanabi Ichijo. The hospital is run by my uncle, who's the head of the family, so we aren't directly involved. I see. Well, I suppose it's best if both of us avoid connections to hospitals and pharmaceuticals. Hanabi, did you bring it? Yes, I brought medication and emergency rations. Were the supplies here in this unit that old? A lot of them were past their expiration date. I mean, my dad hasn't been to Ceyron in a long time, so I guess it's understandable. Oh, don't worry, Gemma. The medication and bandages I used on you weren't expired. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. You two seem close. Did you know each other before joining the OSF? We're childhood friends. Not surprising the Ichijo and Sumeragi families would be acquainted. Well, you've come all this way. Why don't you stay and make yourself comfortable? Y yes Sounds like Arashi calls the shots.
where she looks so different from the way they present her on TV. She's always lazy when she's not on camera, so a lot of people call her Lazy Aura. Lazy Aura? <laughs> that suits her perfectly. your other oh man i wish i could have fought with you it wasn't broadcast this time weren't the crows there no a lot was going on A message Yuito, want to talk? I mean, we're on the same team now. Okay, but what do you want to talk about? We've no... Uh, you know, we didn't see much of each other since joining up. I thought we could catch up. Catch up? I guess we haven't had the time to really sit down and talk. Right? Why don't we go take a walk out of the city? Okay, let's go. I haven't been on a relaxing walk like this in a while. Me neither. I've been on missions constantly since being assigned. We need to take time for ourselves like this now and then. So, what were you doing between the time you were scouted and the time you joined? Well, during my time at the academy, I studied, trained my power, and hung out with friends. <laughs> Me too. I guess there's not too much difference between the scouted and volunteer soldiers. Yeah, we were both headed to the same place in the end. What about everything else? How are your parents? They're both doing great. Just the other day, they kept messaging me while they were on a date for their wedding anniversary. <laughs> They're so carefree. I'm glad to hear they haven't changed. I found myself ignoring their calls for a while. It feels nice to talk like this again. It's only been two years. But it feels like we haven't seen each other for much longer. Yeah, it really does. Are you okay? It's nothing. Anyway, can I ask you something? Sure. What's up? 
So, um, what do you think about Kasane? <laughs> huh? Why are you suddenly bringing up Kasane? Well, you know, we're catching up. I wanted to ask you something that must be on your mind. And it seems like you've been thinking about Kasane. A lot. It did? Well, I guess I've been curious about her. What do you mean by that? I don't know how to put it. I can't get Kasane's face out of my mind. You can't? No. Her face looks exactly like the person who saved me when I was a kid. I'll never forget that face. So when I met someone who had the same face, I started to wonder if they were somehow related. Oh, so it's just because she looks like the person who saved your life? Yeah, that's right. The reason why I even volunteered for the OSF is because I wanted to be like the person who saved my life. She's the ideal image of what the OSF should be. <sighs> that wasn't exactly the direction I was going for, but I guess that's fine. Then what did you want to know? I'll try to answer. It's okay. It's not a big deal. You know, you're really amazing. You've had this goal since you were a child, and you've been working towards it all your life. <laughs> no, I'm not amazing at all. You're way more amazing, because you were actually scouted. That's not true. Being scouted meant that I had no choice but to enlist. You didn't want to join the OSF? It's not that, but I never thought about what I wanted to do in the OSF. That's so like you. You're more comfortable taking action than you are thinking. Hey, that seems like a roundabout way of calling me stupid. What? No, I, I didn't mean it like that at all. You just put more stock into being proactive. Wait, uh, that's not much better. <laughs> I'm just joking. I know what you mean. Ready to head back to the hideout? Yeah. Thanks for inviting me out. I'm really glad we got to talk like this again. I had fun too. Um, do you want to talk again like this sometime? <laughs> that sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, it's a promise. Don't forget. I won't. You'd better not forget either. I definitely won't. Well, let's head back to the hideout. She hasn't changed. She's so cheerful and energetic. I feel recharged. You haven't changed at all. Really? Really. I mean, you're still into Baki. But I'm a bit happy that you haven't changed. Just staying being you. to know you better, you know? Oh, like fighting habits? I guess that would be important if we're fighting together. I need to reply to Kasane's message.
call from Kasane? Maybe I can ask her a little bit about the person who saved me. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, what is it? I'm glad you get straight to the point. I was getting tired of people who force small talk. <laughs> Thanks. I figured... Is there anyone you like? What? Why is she asking me that? Does she? What's your type? What are your plans for your future? Are you interested in taking over Randall Industries? Wait, hold on. Why are you asking me that? I'm running a background check. Is that why you called me here? Not just that. Captain Seto seems to have dropped his fountain pen around here somewhere. I wanted to talk to you anyway, so I thought I'd ask you what you knew about it. His fountain pen? Now that you mention it, I guess Captain Seto did have a nice one. How come you're looking for it? So even you like to ask too many questions. What? That's a perfectly normal question to ask. Don't look at me like that. We can talk while we look for the pen. Drop something rare. This is pretty rare. Good. Hey, I bet Captain Seto would be happy if we found the fountain pen. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's do our best then. <laughs> Conversation is non existent, but I have to ask her about the person who saved me. I guess you're not as useless in battle as I thought. Oh man, she's really harsh. Hey, 
I have something I want to ask you, too. Is that all right? What? When I was little, I was attacked by another and almost died. But then someone from the OSF saved me, and she looked just like you. So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. We're about the same age. When you were a child, I would have been one, too. No, I mean, maybe you have a much older sister. Shh, quiet. <laughs> An enemy. Get ready to fight. Okay. Looks like we won. Huh? Isn't that Captain Seto's fountain pen behind you? This is it? Thanks. You were a big help. Anyway, back to what you were saying. About the OSF person who saved me? Did you check the OSF registry? Of course, but I didn't find her. I thought maybe she was discharged. Oh, right. The person who saved me had the exact same hair clip as that one. Can you tell me where you bought yours? That's not possible. My sister made this for me. What? Really? Hmm. Your power is psychokinesis too. Do you think you might be having realistic dreams? Dreams? Hmm. I can't really say for sure. I was a kid at the time, and my memory is a bit hazy. I've always had strange dreams. Oddly realistic dreams. A woman mutters something about red strings, and then red threads encircle me like a cocoon. I thought my dreams were real when I was a child. It was confusing. I thought that since you also have psychokinesis, maybe you had realistic dreams, too. No. I'm sure it wasn't a dream. It has to be real. That person gave me this ear cuff. I see. Then I don't think I can help you any further. Oh, no, I... Uh, I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to bring up. It's fine. Well, we found the fountain pen, so I guess I'll head back. Right. Thank you. That was a good background check. Oh, right. I completely forgot that was a thing. Uh, why me? All right. Goodbye. I'll head back, too.
I'm tired. When did I get to Sumeragi Tomb? Yuito, Kagero said they're running military exercises in the training area. We should join them. Okay, I'll be right there. What am I doing here? I'll talk to Kaito about it later. I'm still out of it. The training facility should be an OSF headquarters. Oh, Yuito! Great! We're all here now. Time for some three-man field exercises. The rules are simple. There will be a single flag placed on the field. The team who grabs it and reaches the goal first wins. And you'll be happy to know that your beloved Kagero has saved up his hard-earned allowance to provide the winning team with a luxurious prize. Whoa! All right! How are we dividing up the teams? A lottery system courtesy of me and implemented by Sugumi. We all draw strings and team up by color. <sighs> Let's draw already. Looks like we have our teams. Let's do this, you two. Naomi and I are on different teams. Yes! Nagi, Gemma, you'll regret it if Naomi gets so much as a scratch. G got it. Don't worry, my power is specialized for defense. Sugumi, let's do our best. Okay. I guess we're on the same team. Let's see if you're as good as the crows think you are. What's with him? Okay. As I'm sure you know, I'm Shiden from the scouted class. I have the same electrokinesis power as Captain Seto. You better not slow me down. I'll do my best. Okay, let's get started. I'm sure everyone is fine with me being the team leader. Objection? What? Are you suggesting that an adult like you should be our leader? Looky here, Sheedan. You're just not really cut out to be a leader. Hey, are you trying to make a fool of me? See, that's what I'm talking about. I think someone more calm like Yuito should be in charge. What? Me? I, I mean, I don't mind the responsibility. Relax. You don't have to be so stiff with us. Welcome aboard, Mr. Leader. Spoiled Sumeragi brat. I suppose he's used to giving orders. What's that supposed to mean? What's the matter, Shiden? You jealous of Yuito or something? This? This is beneath me. Oh, that's right. Didn't you put in a request to join Seto Platoon this year? What? 
Your hero, Captain Seto, didn't choose you? Oh, that's so sad. Shut up. Let's just get started already. <sighs> anyway, let's play nice out there, okay? Baki always says that where there's smiles, there's happiness. Baki, huh? That's great. You hear that, Sheedan? Don't forget to smile. Enough talking! Let's go already! Okay, let's look for this flag, but don't let your guard down. There's something over there. Even if you don't need it, being invisible is fun. Don't get cocky. Thanks, Kotaro. training visions, but the others here are always so realistic. It's not just the others. Everything here is a simulation. Is my body real? So, you need help? You need help. You need my power. Water attack? Getting wet limits your mobility, so be careful. Close. Hey, there's the flag. We can't get through, though. Let's look for another way. There. It might be easier to electrify now that it's wet. The enemy dropped something rare.
finish it off. Is everyone okay? Thanks. You saved me. Looks like there's a resource nearby. Don't get cocky! Now we just have to head to the goal. Stop dictating every little move. Just get going. Who's scary? You're yapping like a chihuahua. something rare. Nice job. 
Still fight. Are you sure this is the way, Yuito? As the leader, you should have the topography memorized. Just shut up and come over here, young man. Come on, guys. This should be the way, so let's keep going. Come on. So trivial. What is? Your power status is low and you fight like an amateur. Why would Captain Seto or even Major General Karin take an interest in someone like you? Whoa there, Sheedon. Did you ever stop to think that maybe this is why you weren't chosen to be the leader? Shut up. It's not that I want to be the leader. I just don't want to follow orders from someone inferior to me. Are you sure you're not the one who's inferior? Shut up, you adult! Yuito, keep your eyes open up ahead. If I were the leader, I would be waiting in a blind spot near the finish line. What do you mean? In other words, instead of looking around for the flag, it would be more efficient to steal the flag right near the finish line. Oh, I see. 
But this is just an exercise. Hold up, we got company. It's Kasane's team. I knew it. That is so like Kasane. Let's ambush them. Hey, Yuito! That was really something! You did a good job of managing those two. You looked amazing, Yuito. Yep, you really were something. You're a natural leader. We might have won this time, but I still have my doubts. I miscalculated. Hanabi, Sugumi, I'm sorry. What? Don't be silly. You aren't to blame at all. I hate losing. I honestly underestimated you. I never imagined I would lose a power battle between us. Okay. I didn't think you would be that direct, but thanks. You showed some promise the other day when we fought together. I have to say, I'm impressed. Thanks. I'm happy to hear you say that. Sorry to interrupt, but here's your prize. Good work today. A message from Dad? Congratulations on officially making it into OSF. Kaito's filled me in. I'm still against you joining OSF, but just promise me you'll be careful. You're your own man now that you're a member of OSF. I think it's finally time we sat down and talked about our family and your mother. We should invite Kaito and have dinner together sometime. I'll contact you once I know my schedule. What is it? I got a message from my father. He never sends messages. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to call it a day. Thanks to everyone who participated. You're acting strange, Kagura. Hmm? What do you mean? Don't you hate training exercises? Well... 
I thought it would be a good opportunity to show off to the newbies. There are some real cuties this year. And you cheated drawing strings. Shh. I just wanted to team up with the new guy and see what he's got. <sighs> to Sumeragi tomb at some point before training. I should go there again. Maybe I'll remember something. Why did I end up here? I don't remember how I got here at all. I really should talk to Kaito about it. Yumito, deployment orders. We confirmed a large pack of others in an abandoned subway. Head over there, right away. Okay, got it. And Nagi? He's already on his way. Thanks, I'll be right on his heels. It looks like Colin Kaito is going to have to wait. Seto Platoon is all here. You've all heard the situation from Wataru. Apparently, there's a swarm of others in these abandoned subway lines. The extinction belt has descended to lower altitudes, and they're flowing underground from the air ducts. Sure, there's no need to explain it at this point, but we have some new blood here. So let's see what you know about the extinction belt. What's the extinction belt? Nagi. Y yes, sir. It's an anomaly that's believed to be the product of the spring of extinction. Exactly. It accumulated near the Earth's stratosphere and has covered the whole globe. Others are born inside it and have been observed descending to the Earth's surface, so don't go near areas where the belt is thick. The others could appear anywhere. The extinction belt also has the tendency to block signals. If that happens, Watcher's telepathy will be our only means of communication. Without a communicator, my telepathy only allows me to talk to you and not the other way around. Let's hope the communicators don't go down. So that's the deal. I want you to stay on your toes out there. Understood. This will be a joint operation between the 7th and 8th Company from the 1st Regiment and the 1st and 2nd Company from the 2nd Regiment. It's a large-scale joint operation. I want you all to refrain from going off on your own. 
Especially you, Kagero. What? You're really going to call me out in front of everyone, Captain? <laughs> Don't get so upset. Team one will be me, Nagi, and Hanabi. Team two will be Kagero, Sugumi, and Yuito. Seto Platoon will head to Point Alpha behind Second Company. Understood. Understood. something rare. This is the subway. So it's basically an abandoned line. There are some places with active 
To train you to make sure the others don't notice what you're doing. Huh? Notice me doing what? You know, ramming it into them. Captain, does the extinction belt usually come down lower than the stratosphere? No, it's usually seen higher. It's pretty rare for it to be this low. Let's be ready. All in! Let's go! So this is brain drive. It feels like all the nerves inside my body are standing on end. Keep this up! Drive is basically just really intense focus, right? Apparently, bias has a function to adjust the stimulation to the brain, allowing for easier control of brain drive. But I don't think relying on it is good. You will control your power by yourself. I'm using this to go Yeah! 
That's going to look hard. Someone's coming this way. Captain Seto. Naomi, we got a request for reinforcements from Haruka. What happened? Others have descended on Point Alpha. The additional units scheduled to arrive were nowhere to be seen, so Acting Commander Gemma ordered me to request reinforcements from Seto Platoon. Three others attacking from 12 o'clock. We'll arrive in one minute. The enemy will flank us with hypervelocity and attack from behind. What? What do you mean? My power is precognition. It's true. Captain, the others are gathering at Point Alpha, and three are closing in on Seto Platoon's current position. Wow. Naomi, connect to SAS with me. Team, it's time to clean up these others. Take them down while we make our way to Point Alpha. Understood. So your power lets you see the future, Nate? Can you choose when to look? Yes, but I can only see a little ahead. That's an amazing power! I'm happy to hear you say that. Finish! It's all right, Naomi. Kasane is the top cadet. Of course, you know that since you're her sister. I'm so stupid. No, thank you for reassuring me. That's gonna leave a mark. Kyoka platoon. Captain, the interference from the extinction belt is... At this rate, lose contact. Wataru, get those communicators back up. Is there anyone else? Point Alpha. Survivors. Captain, the ceiling is starting to crack. Damn it. Evasive maneuvers. Kyoka platoon, disperse. They're coming from above! Captain Seto!
Thank you. You saved me. Is everyone all right? Gimma Garrison and Sugumi Nazar reporting in. There are two more nearby. Yuito, you alive? Nagi, where are you right now? Next to the rubble. I'm with Naomi. Let me reboot the GPS. <laughs> ah! What's wrong? Nagi! Others are attacking from all around us! Nagi is... Ah! Naomi! This is bad. There are too many others. We have to hurry. I'll clear the rubble. There are too many. I'll help! Once I kill it, you handle things over there. Fine. Sugumi! Understood. I hope Kasane is okay. I think Hanabi is with Captain Seto. But I'm worried about what happened to Kagero. Kagero can take care of himself. More importantly, we need to focus on the enemy in front of us. You're right. Let's take care of these guys first. Thanks, man. Naomi. I'm okay. I'm heading to... Anyone that can move, lend a hand. <laughs> I'll fight too. Focus. All right. 
you decide to fight, don't lose focus. A second's hesitation can mean death. Got it? Yes. My fault. Watch your feet, and don't let your guard down. I'm so confused. How is Naomi an other? What happened? Can't she hear us anymore? Time to use this!
feels bad. doing this other is naomi naomi a transfer power you need strong abilities to move something that size Seiron's emblem on it. What, what was that? Naomi, she's... she's... Nagi, calm down. How am I supposed to calm down? What the hell is that? Look, I don't know either. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we have to do something. Sorry, I know now's not the time to panic, but what do we do? person with the most experience here is no this is beyond what i can handle look at what happened when kyoka put me in charge of the platoon okay then let's do this i'll go after kasane nagi go report to the front line command and tell them what happened no i'll go with you Ugh. not with that leg you're not sugumi you go with nagi Seems like we can't get a hold of command because of the signal interference. Okay. Be careful. You too. Gemma, if you were put in charge of Kyoka Platoon, that means Kasane is your subordinate, right? I need you to come with me as her acting commander. You're right. Copy that. Yuito, Gemma, hold on. 
Major General Fubuki. I'm glad you're both okay. I ran into Nagi and Sugumi, and I came after you as soon as I heard. Heard what? About Naomi. I'll tell you what I told them. You're not to repeat what happened to anyone. What do you mean? I mean just that. Don't tell anyone about it. It will serve to protect all of you. Also, did you happen to pick up anything like an ampule on your way here? Oh, yes. Would you mind handing that over to me? <clears throat> what is that ampule? Or is that classified too? To put it simply, this ampule is a power enhancer. It boosts the psionic hormones. We know that it's developed in Ceyron. However, this is classified OSF information. I can't tell you any more than that. So many secrets. Yes, unfortunately, whenever people gather together, there are always ulterior motives. It's best to stay away from these sticky spider webs. That's why I'm warning you. Anyway, you two come with me. We'll find somewhere safe. No, Kasane is up ahead. She went after Naomi. Would it be okay if I continued looking for her? I'm worried. Fine. If you see her, make sure to tell her not to share what happened to anyone either. Don't do anything reckless. I'll send some reinforcements soon. And since there's a chance we'll have to withdraw from the front lines, you should fall back to your hideout if you meet up with them. It'll be a lot safer to head back to Suo from there. In any case, be careful. He said we should be quiet about what happened today to protect ourselves. Major General Fubuki was so calm. And how can he be when Naomi turned into another? Yeah, something's not right. Those guys were National Defense Forces. Where did they take Naomi? Why did she just change into another? There's a lot we don't understand, but it's a fact that Naomi is another now. Come on! Still fight. <laughs> Major General Karin? Yuito and Gemma, you two take care of her. I'm returning to the front line to regroup the units. Yes, sir. Kasane, uh, where's Naomi? I suppose I can tell you, since you saw the whole thing. She was taken by troops stationed in Ceyron. So that car was from the Ceyron garrison? Yes, so? <sighs> Something's not right. When I reported this to Major General Fubuki, he told me not to tell anyone else, and to tell you to do the same. Major General Karin said the same thing. Why tell us to keep quiet? Does that mean OSF is hiding something? I don't know. Major General Fubuki said it would protect us. And take a look at this. It seems like the Ceyron garrison dropped this, too. I remember seeing this at home when I was a child. According to the Major General, it's a drug that temporarily boosts powers. He wanted me to turn them over, but I managed to keep two of them without him knowing. That was a smart decision. In any case, why would something like that be at my home? The Randall family is involved in weapon development. Anything related to drug manufacturing would have only been joint ventures with Spring Pharmaceuticals. He also mentioned that this drug was classified information. It 
It seems like the top brass of the OSF know about it. Spring Pharmaceuticals is Major General Fabuki's family company. Perhaps the commander knew because of that. Don't trust new Himuka. What? What is that supposed to mean? It's something Karin said. I'm not exactly sure what he meant by it either. If this ampule really is from Seiron, then does that mean the Randalls and Springs are cooperating with Seiron? Even if that's the case, it just leaves us with more questions. It might be best to do as we were told. We keep this to ourselves and look into it privately. That ampule seems to be pretty important. Might be a good idea to hide it. Then I'll hide the ampule inside Baki. Huh? I didn't think you'd know how to sew. I was always told to be independent, ever since I was little. Done. There's two, so who's going to hold on to them? I'll pass. I think you two should probably carry them. Baki. My sister would have been so happy. Kasane, about Naomi. I'm sorry. I knew that other was Naomi, but I was scared. I... I had no other choice but to fight. Hmm. Stop it. I'll get Naomi back. Just don't get in my way. This might come off as naive, but I want to do what I can to help save her, too. It is naive, but thank you. Oh, nice one, Sugumi. Looks like everyone's here. Huh, where's Naomi? Isn't she with you? <sighs> What's wrong? I'll tell you later. Uh, where's Nagi? And Captain Seto and Hanabi? Nagi is with the rescue team on the front line. Captain and Hanabi are totally fine. They're worried about you, so we should get out of here. No, the rest of you go first. She didn't supposed to be up ahead, so I'll pick him up. Then I'll go with you. For better or worse, I'm the leader of Kyoko Platoon until this mission is over. All right. Be careful. So I guess it's best we join up with Captain Seto and head over to the hideout. So, this is your family's unit. It's a good fit geographically, and is well equipped. I hope we can use it as a hideout. You don't mind? Of course not. It doesn't look like it's being used by my family anymore. Then we'll use this as our platoon's hideout. I'm just glad you're okay. We were all really worried. Sugumi was crying her eyes out. I was not. What? Sugumi, you've got the hots for Yuito? What about me? Shut up. Harsh. Where's Naomi? Did she and Gemma regroup with Kyoka Platoon? Oh, uh... Naomi is... Uh, it's not like Naomi is dead. But I can't just say she turned into another. An other... Got her. No way. Naomi? But she's the best next to Kasane. And she's so nice. That's why you look so down. It must have been hard, losing a friend like that. Everyone goes through that at least once. I won't tell you to cheer up, but this is something you're gonna have to learn to accept. To survive in the USF, it's necessary. I understand. Let's rest here a while. You have my permission. Take some time to get yourself together. It's a sad situation, but the others won't wait. Here 
Lovely talent. Did Major General Kabuki ask you to be quiet about Naomi? Yeah, he did. He told me to say the same thing to Kasane. Did he tell you too? Yeah. I don't like not telling the truth. Sorry, Yuito. It's too bad about Naomi, but you did the best you could. Rest for now. Yes, sir.